Johnny here from Hunker Down Outdoors. Today we're heading out to Lake Watery to do some fishing for some white perch. And uh, we'll see you when we get out there. Considered a nuisance fish. There's currently no regulation on how many you can keep, no krill limits. Um, they're primarily used for uh, cut bait, for fishing for, for blue catfish. You can also eat them. They're, uh, they make great table fare. They have a white flaky uh, uh, flesh and with a mild taste. White perch, they're gonna be suspended kind of like crap you would be off of humps and ditches and, and uh, creek channels, drop offs, things like that. They're gonna be schooled up together, stacked on top of each other. So, what we're doing is we're looking at the depth finder, trying to trying to mark some, and we're gonna go back by them and uh, try to catch some. Captain Jamie K here. <laughs> this is my brother, owns Jamie K Outdoor World, Fort Long, South Carolina. On the depth finder, it's got some interference from all the, the waves out here, but we're starting to get, you can see right here, you're starting to get some bait right in here, stacked up. So what we got here, this is called a sabiki rig. If you can see them little hooks there. And we got like a little drop shot weight on the end of it. And we're going to cap each one of these with a little piece of worm. Like that. So we're just gonna let this hit bottom. And drag it. And a little catfish. Alright, I'm got fish on. Let's see what he is. Captain Jamie told me to wind it in slow. You might get another one biting the sabiki rig. So let's see what we got here, guys. Alright, got two of uh, them. I think Nimmer. Yeah, okay. And that's what we're after, guys. These are the smaller ones. And like I said, we're catching these for bait. These fish do get bigger, maybe the largest up, up to a pound. A lot of times what you'll do is uh, find them even without the death finder. Sometimes you can uh, just go to drifting Bouncing it off the bottom, or you can drag it. Like, you just catch fish. You can call them up yeah. and turn them or just let the wind blow you. Yeah, and once you find them, you can sit down on an anchor. Or if you got a trolling motor with an anchor button. Once you catch one, just wind it in slow, you might get a couple more bites you need. That's why you don't see me winding it in real hard. Just keep attention on it. You're right, Captain James. Oh, come on. Got the sabiki rig full, guys. 
I was taking one off the hook, putting it in the bait tank, and I laid it on the bottom, put it in a rod holder, and they got on every one of the hooks. We caught one that's a little bit bigger size. This one's probably about six to eight inches long, maybe. 